CS77 Smith asked about the food in the Philippines and shopping. Uh, this video was taken some time ago with one of my original cameras. Uh, when I say some time ago, it was 2007. <laughs> um, but this is the basic mold structure to expect. You got the food carts, which are hot dogs, waffles, all that sort of stuff. Um, this is actually a Gusano mall that are throughout the Philippines. In Gasol, you, you see over to the right there, they do like rice and chicken, that sort of stuff. The food is predominantly junk food, but that's the same anywhere in the world. Uh, it's Christmas time, which is why it's so busy. Your bags are packed for you, they'll take them to the car for you. Certain times of the month are busy, paydays, there's two, two a month, they're normally the uh, times to avoid the mall, as you can see how busy it gets. Gisana products aren't fantastic, but they do have a quite a large range of general stuff, you know, unbranded. Um, there's other key key places to go: AL Mall, SM Mall, uh, Robinson's uh, Mall. They all have their own food courts and stuff as well, and all have a larger selection. Gisano is there's different levels of food. Um, what was that other one be? Uh, there's one, your is sort of like here, there's another one below them, uh, I've got the name of the top, off the top of my head what the place is called, but it, this one is more for small Sari Sari stores, Sari Sari stores are a corner shop. Um, then you have your Gisano, which is the one we just looked at, which is where the average Filipino will shop, then the next one above that would probably be SM and Ayala, which are holding items that a lot of these the average person can't even afford um, yeah I mean the sofa I bought that's in my apartment cost 30,000 pesos well to put that in perspective um, I could probably live on that for three months you know so it's equivalent of th three months income because the the thing is the the bottom end wages um, at a factory or something is about six thousand pesos and below that your your nannies and your household helps etc vary between one thousand five hundred and about three thousand five hundred up to about four thousand depending where they are um, this is why when they go to China and Hong Kong even though it's only 2,000 pesos more or a little bit higher than that it's a big leap for a lot of people even though uh, my grocery bill is more than that for the entire month um, so the whole point being is be aware there's different grades it's the same in the Middle East though you when I was in Oman you there seems to be two currencies you got the money wheel and the I think the other one's the bat the bat is like a really low currency um, it's equivalent of like coins, but it, it goes up to a thousand baht, um, and then it becomes a real. Well, the the fact is, for a lot of the lower pay people, which are only paid, say, um, a pound a day, or whatever, the bats are how they actually work on. Where I'm spending more on a cup of coffee than they've actually earned in the day. It's just the way the whole environment works there. But anyway, so be aware the supermarkets are like that. There's nothing wrong with going in any of them. Um, I use all of them because uh, certain things you go to Gisano will have um, places to eat that we like to eat because there's things like uh, like the Japanese styled uh, I, can't remember, I think it's Tokyo Joe's um, which we like to have after a call center meeting in the morning we used to go there and have some uh, Maki California Maki and stuff um, also they've got like um, Bose coffee but then you go to your for a night out you go to SM or Ayala because they've got some medium level restaurants you know that are giving some good food um, so be, be aware there's there's different levels it's all based on what people have got to spend Rustin supermarket has some good selection of food. Gisano supermarket, like I said, is near for the average Filipino. It's so it has a very narrow selection of products for 
Westerners. They, it does have foreign food, which is predominantly Korean, <laughs> but um, for Westerners, they don't have it. Rustins has a bit, bit more food. Um, Ayala Mal has some more. Assam has more. For example, if you go to um, Ayala Mal, it's got a Marks and Spencers in there. So don't assume that going to the Philippines, you're going to be eating bananas and rice all day. There is a lot of food available. Um, we'd have to be pretty remote to have no access to any of these places. The other thing is if you order McDonald's, McDonald's actually do home delivery. Um, Jollibee do home delivery. There's pizza places all over the place. You've got things like Angels. Um, Angels do these foot long sausages and stuff. That um, is very cheap. I wouldn't say very healthy. I don't know what's in those sausages. But I used to go there at like 2 3 in the morning sometimes just be, to get something to eat because the only place open. And that's in, I mean, the population of Mingonelia back then was probably about 100,000. Um, and it's not a big town center because everyone goes into the city. So bear in mind, there is food everywhere. Don't, don't worry, there's food everywhere. Um, where I'd say be careful is street vendors and stuff because you don't know where the foods come from. Um, I'm not saying it in a bad way. You know, the local population, I've got a better immune system to the local stuff. <laughs> um, but like I was saying about two guys that I know got amoebas, um, they, they were both uh, on the hull, so were they in the same place? I don't know. But the whole point with going to the bigger chain stuff, the quality is going to be a bit better. I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect, because um, I've seen like meat products being stacked in freezers, you know, because you're obviously supposed to do rotation. So when you put the new stuff in, it goes at the bottom, not the top. But they've actually just put it in on the top, so you could have stuff at the bottom that's been there a while. So double check labels and stuff. But beyond that, don't worry, it's no issue.